out as the panda on the Masked Singer last season. That's right. Welcome back, Layla. Oh, yes. All I can think about. You have fun doing that? Oh, or what? It was so fun. And, uh, you know, I've always had this secret passion for singing. Okay. Not confident. So it was the perfect show for me. But I totally did not think I was going to be out after my first performance. Right. I thought I'd at least make it like four or five shows. Sure. Yeah. So well, if, you, if they would have saw that pretty face, then they probably would have. But that you were didn't so help. You were no doing your hair. You're oh, like, oh, that's all I could think about. <laughs> I took that. I was like, my hair. Oh, no. Yeah. Now, I, I, I know, obviously, and we were talking about, uh, you don't spar anymore. You don't train anymore, right? I train. Well, you train, but you're yeah. not sparring well, or boxing. Well, you know, yeah. You don't want to be getting hurt like some people I know. No, I know. Exactly. <laughs> I know. Look at the scar, I mean, Layla. I mean, for what reason? Come well, on. Well, here's the irony, because it, it makes me feel young, and I feel alive, but then the body can't keep up. So okay. what's a brother do? Well, maybe you need to downgrade your sparring partner. That's right. No, exactly. You know? <laughs> downgrade the okay. intensity. Yes. No, you're exactly right. <laughs> but aside from that, we both have a passion for food mm -hmm. and cooking. Yes. Has that always been? Absolutely. I've okay. been cooking since I was about 9 or 10 years old. Really? Yes, because my mom didn't cook. And so I got in the kitchen, started teaching myself. That's what inspired my cookbook, Food for Life. Wow. Um, yeah. Literally to live. <laughs> yep, yep. But I'm all about cooking foods that we love. Guys, get this cookbook. Your family will love it. Your kids will love it. It's one you can truly follow. Yeah. Which and is good. Because we, we want to have the foods that we love, but to cook them in a healthier way. You there know? you go. Do you yep. cook in the nude? We just did this whole thing about nude cooking, Layla. Absolutely not. <laughs> and I don't want anyone's food who has prepared their food in the nude. Just something about that well, just yeah. does not seem sanitary. Cause, cause to if, me. You're, if you're not well groomed and then you got little petals yeah. around everywhere, Sweat you don't want and, that. Mm, yes. Yeah, no, no. I, went, I, I didn't even think about that as far as that. Uh, especially when you have kids, you can't be out there. Yeah, well, especially. I mean, my kids already think, look at me. Dancing. Oh, you like to get grud dance yeah, though when you cook in. Oh, that's what in. I'm talking about. I like to have fun. I okay. like to make food that tastes amazing, that's good for you. You know, I've also created my spice blends. The spice okay. blends that every woman needs, everybody yes, needs. Because my that was kids, a spicy little dance right there. I'm always having <laughs> to sneak in veggies, make it taste amazing, and then they eat it. You know, yeah. it's all about the flavor, really, at the end of the day. Wait, you yep. couldn't really see it on that, Mari, and I'm going to embarrass her, but her abs. You know, I'm obsessed with like great body. Her abs for days. How do we get those abs, Layla? Well, you know what? And you already know. Stop acting like you're not fit and muscular, okay? But it really comes down to eating, right? Because you can have abs underneath, but you have too many layers of fat, the mm. visceral fat that's not really good for right. you. You know, that's what I like to focus on. I like to focus on feeling good, not just looking good. Focus on your health. And you want to get that body fat content down because it's not good for you. It's just but like do you do exactly. sit-ups? I do, but I don't do as many as you would think. Like, I might do ab work twice a week. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about, I, I'm really lazy when it comes to abs. They're there because they've been there for so long. But I would say, like, it wouldn't take me more than a couple weeks to get them popping. Like, <laughs> four sets, you know, three days a week, Dang, good to go. Dang, like that? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Boy, yeah. Come boom, on, boom. That's crazy. I know, I know. Right I recognize. I like that you said, too, sometimes you got to disguise the food for the kids. Yes. Otherwise, it trick them into eating, yeah. it, right? Because it gets difficult flax sometimes. Seed in everything. Oh, flaxseed <laughs> is great. Yeah, the ground flaxseed. Mm -hmm. Everything. Oh, absolutely. But you know what I also put in everything? I take zucchini, what? peel off the skin, puree it. I make gravies with it. I put it in tacos. I put yeah. it in everything. Oh, that yeah. It is a fun little yes. under, like it. it's yes. an underrated vegetable yes, right there. Yes, it is. But it takes on the flavor of anything yeah. you're cooking. Talk about uh, when Oprah approached yes. you to speak on her tour. That was amazing. I mean, obviously. I've looked up to Oprah for many years just as a businesswoman that she is and to have that, you know, I host a show, Homemade Simple, that comes on every Saturday on OWN, but I hadn't had the opportunity to actually do anything with Oprah. So this whole wellness thing that she's doing with WW and having the opportunity to speak to 16,000 women who have all said, yes, I want to better my life. Yes, I want to be the best version of me. I was like, let me infuse some of my brand in here, yeah. you know, so I had my moment on the stage and it was great. Great moment. There's one point where you got a little emotional, oh, which yeah. I love. Roll this. When, when my dad pulls you aside and says he want to talk to me, I said, okay. And he said, I was wrong. He said, you can fight and women can fight. Oh, that's oh. powerful right there. Yeah, yeah they can. And then, yeah. Layla, he, correct me if I'm wrong, he would have been 78. You're trying to get me today, right? aren't you? I'm oh. sorry, I'm trying to Layla. get me. No, he would have been 78. Yeah, his birthday had just passed, I think a day or two before I spoke, maybe the day before. And I was talking about the story of when I decided to box. A lot of people don't know, my dad tried to talk me out of it. 
And when that didn't work, he actually said to me, you shouldn't do it. It's not for women. You know, it's a man's sport. And that's the way he thought about boxing and women at the time. And then when I won my championships, he came and he said, I'm sorry, I was wrong. You can fight. Women can fight. And, you know, it's funny because I've told, I do a lot of speaking around the country. And that was the first time I actually cried on the stage because, I don't know, maybe I was feeling extra emotional because his birthday just passed. And now that I'm older, I have kids, it just means something different with him not being here. Mm. That I was like, wow, with what we're going through right now in our world as women, like, I changed his mind about not only his daughter, what I could and couldn't do. Because imagine if I would have listened to him. Yeah. Right. Because he was putting a limit on me. I don't care if you're Muhammad Ali. This is my life. Right. And so I, I took that stand. I was proud of myself. But then he was just like, wow, you know, women can do it. And then think of the younger mm -hmm. generation. Think about Kobe with his daughter, Gianna. Absolutely. And saying she could also she play in the NBA, yep. not yeah. in the WNBA. Yeah. And I'm that sure sort it was of coming from a place of love, though, Oh, and no, protection. and I said that. Yes. that he, it did. He, he right. was totally was just afraid. I mean, this baby girl, I'm the youngest out of all of his girls. Hey, that's a violent sport. Okay. Yeah, but <laughs> so I'm a exactly. violent girl. Yeah. yeah. And I needed my outlet. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> when you're the <laughs> champ, I need an outlet. Yeah. You know what I think? What a man to be able to apologize. That's yeah. a real yes. man right there. It was. Uh, we can never get enough of your dad and putting up the pictures. And Mario, I'm obsessed. Her son looks exactly like just. your dad. Is he still looking the same? I haven't seen him in a while. Absolutely. Just like him. And he oh. has the heart. Oh and he has goodness. his heart. Look at that face. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, that's great. Oh, my God. And then my daughter looks just like my husband. I didn't get any. Nah. <laughs> but she acts just like that. Just like she me. Is a handful. A oh, yeah. How, yeah would sure. you, uh, how would you describe your parenting style? Oh, God. I'm definitely, yeah, I don't know if you've ever heard of attachment parenting. My kids are very attached to me. I'm l super hands on with them. I'm stern and firm. But for some reason, they don't pay me any mind. <laughs> like, they do not care, you know, That's like, me. yeah. I, I think I, I am stern, but I think I'm the weak link compared to, for yeah. some reason, with my husband, the way he parents differently. I don't yeah. know. Is your I husband the one, the disciplinary You know, one? my husband always says, you're always making me look like the bad guy. And yeah. I'm like, no, I don't. You make yourself look like the bad guy. Because yeah, you make yeah. everything a big deal. It's like, it's 9 o'clock. Why is it 9 5 Because they go to bed at 9. It's 9 5. It's like, what are you guys doing? I'm like, it's just 9 5. Relax. <laughs> right. And he comes in, you know. So I'm like, no, that's you. Don't blame me. <laughs> so yeah, we have this thing going back and forth, but. That's it's cool. all good. Balance. We got it. We got it. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Um, Layla, you're gonna come back with Mario and Scott and me. Tell us about your skincare line with that's out. You have Absolutely. so much going on. Yes. And tell everybody about your website quickly. They should definitely come to my website, Laylali.com. I have so much going on there. All of my products are there. Plus, I have a replenish series, which I'm super excited about to replenish Whoa. your health, your mindset, and your purpose. It's free. You just sign up for it, and then you get your emails in your inbox, and you walk away a better, stronger, more confident person. That's Look at awesome. the champ, the boss yeah. lady. Right there. Big thank you to Layla. You can check out more healthy living and lifestyle ideas on Layla's website and her book, Food for Life.